Yes guys, good morning and welcome back to Kosi's Asno podcast. My name is Kosi. I have a bit of flu but um I'll be able to speak. Good morning people. Welcome back to the podcast. We're going to discuss a couple of Arsenal transfer reports from Raheem Sterling to Sander Badge, as well as the new contract of Emil Smith-Rowe, who has apparently uh, been linked with uh, a move to Aston Villa. And Fabrizio says it's just a matter of time. The, uh, the player will sign a new contract and there will not be a move for him from Arsenal to any other side. So please do smash the like button. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you like the content, please consider turning on the notification bell so that you can get regular updates and regular videos uh from courses arsenal podcast about arsenal and all the sport that you like honestly the video is brought to you by one expert please check out their link in the description um when you visit their website use promo code cosi media you'll be able to win a couple of prizes and and also to redeem up to 130 dollars uh on your first deposit so make sure as simple as that make sure you check their website out because they sponsor these videos and um they fuel me in order to bring you the latest news now let's start off, uh, with uh uh, Fabrizio Romano, who did confirm yesterday that uh, Arsenal will be giving Emil Smith work another contract, a new contract extension, up to four years. So his next contract will actually expire uh, around 2025. He's been linked with, uh, with the move to Aston Villa. Villa are interested in signing um, Emil Smith work, but doesn't look like he will be uh, leaving the club. And according to Romano, Arsenal working very very hard and an agreement is going to be reached very very soon between the player and the club i said um fabrizio said emil smith wants to stay at the club he is very very delighted with the uh, with, with, with the option and possibility of staying at the club he wants to fight for his place and he wants to be an arsenal star so that is it um uh, what are your thoughts on emil smith was staying staying at the club and getting a new contract i think he's been one of those most progressive uh players at arsenal players that have really been um adding to their performances adding to their quality day in day out i think he's been brilliant last season he's been so good he came out uh, he came into the squad uh, on Boxing Day against Chelsea, and since then, I think he's not actually pulled back. He's been that very great player who you know has always helped us in uh, in creating chances, you know, goal scoring opportunities, as well as uh, making things happen onto uh, the forward line. So I think us though, it would be just great this summer uh, if we get if we gave him a long contract, if tied him to a long contract, because like, like you can see, clubs like Aston Villa who are in fear of losing uh, Jack Grealish are looking at him. Of course, um, if you lose Grealish and get uh, Emil Smith Wall, you could build Emil Smith Wall um, into that Jack Grealish player, you know, you, you, you think about. So, Arsenal need to act quick and quick enough in order to keep Emil Smith Wall at their side. Of course, uh, yesterday, Bukayo Saka um, scored his first English Premier No, did I say English Premier League? Um, his first English um, national team goal. Uh, that was his first. It was. Um, um, England beating uh, Austria 1-0 and of course uh, the, uh, the only man on the score sheet in that game uh, was Bukayo Saka. Remember he has been called by England uh, in the last 26-man squad for the Euros so I mean things are just working out for him. He's been named among the PFA uh, Young Player of the Year with the likes of Phil Foden and the likes of Mason Mount. I think if there is anyone uh, who's having a good run and of, of, of blessings and things at Arsenal at the moment is Saka. His goal was so good, um, you know, a tap in, or a tap in just, you know, at 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 the near post, and it was one nil the final score, and the only man with the score sheet was Bukayo Saka. So congr congratulations, Bukaya, on your uh, call up and also on your ability or oh, on your um, you know scoring the first goal in your career of for England. Okay, let's get into the now into the transfer incomings and um, we'll start off with um Raheem Sterling who's been linked with Arsenal again. Now this is according to just Arsenal and they've said that Arsenal are uh, actually um, looking po uh, Sterling to Arsenal is looking more possible with Spurs dropping out and I've said Arsenal have emerged as the favorites to sign Raheem Sterling from Manchester City with Spurs tip to struggle to pay his wages the Englishman has surprisingly been available um, for the transfer after falling down of the pecking order at Manchester City the citizens have just lost their premier uh, their Champions League final and we look to overall their team one of the players who reportedly could leave um, for the right price is is Raheem Sterling. Now, what we know and what we do understand here at Cosis Arsenal Podcast is um, Mikel Arteta is a very big fan of the player. He loves him. He loves 
uh, he would love to work with um, Raheem Sterling. Just 26 years of age, they've worked before together at Manchester City. The question is, would you take Raheem Sterling? He, for, uh, personally, um, I think... <coughs> sorry for that. He's a winger that is a little bit ahead of many of the wingers we have. I mean, at the moment, um, if you put them on the same weighing scale as um, as Nicola Pepe, I think Raheem Sterling gives you more goals and gives you more... <coughs> and gives you more... Um, you know m m more chances as a player however i think um it would it would be very unfair to drop nicola pepe at the moment um especially at a time when i think he's just started to struggle um and get his form back so as to bringing in a winger at the moment in, in, in raheem sterling it would be a very good upgrade because like we said you know we need to be ruthless at the moment we need to be um we need to act like a big team and big teams act ruthless um if if if, if you're in that position and not, you're not giving us 100 percent uh of what we need we could actually bring in someone who's better than you or, or, or actually um someone who can actually give us what you know you you can't give us so um but raheem sterling it's another transfer that i don't see you know, really happening it's not a transfer that i'm i'm, I'm very open to um 100 percent i think it would be a wastage of money at the moment. I don't think we are going to, you know, use Sterling in, 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 in the Premier League and, and, and Pepe. Well, it depends on what, you, on what you people think. But for me, I wouldn't take Sterling at the moment. I think uh, there are very many other positions I would want to fill at Arsenal before I think about uh, a player like Raheem Sterling. But the advantage with the, with the Sterling deal is Ateta wants the deal and um, he has worked with the player before. And I think, honestly, if you brought in Sterling at Arsenal, which could be, you know, which could be very hard um, since you don't have Champions League and Europa, but if we brought in um, Raheem Sterling at the club, it would be very, very nice honestly let's be very honest i mean I, I i think in the past three years he's been one of the best premier league players honestly uh under pep Guardiola. so there is no question about that honestly i would take a uh, brahim sterling but at the moment at the moment he's not the player i would take as my priority of course um still moving on arsenal are reportedly more interested in signing sander badge than yevis bisoma now uh, reports came in a couple of days ago that Arsenal will try to sign uh, the Norwegian duo in Sander Badge as well as um, uh, Martin Odegaard. However, Real Madrid are saying they want almost 51.5 million pounds, which is around 60 million euros uh, for their player. And Arsenal are not really willing to uh, to meet that valuation uh, for Real Madrid. So probably we could we could end up going for uh, Emi Buendia, who's who's been pronounced um, you know very cheap. At the moment by by Norwich City they are saying any team that can actually give us um, anything uh, starting with uh, a three um, at the beginning is it 30 32 35 um, any figure that starts with three uh, could actually be negotiated and welcome uh, for uh, the man himself Amy Buendia but Sander Badge um, is that player that um, uh, would be replacing um, uh, Granny Jaka and he is the player that uh, Mikel Arteta once, and I've been looking at Twitter, uh, you know, uh, throughout uh, through on Twitter, and many people are saying that um, what what the hell is so good with Sander? But I, I understand uh, many Arsenal fans are really obsessed with Yavis Bissouma, and that's the reason as to why uh, many people don't want to see Sander. But but I think is <coughs> it's flu. I think it's been um, a very interesting player at um, at Sheffield United. Um, <coughs> Sorry for that. Right. Well, I think Sunderbad has been interesting at, at Sheffield. They've been struggling. They've had a, one of the worst campaigns um, in their life. But Sunderbad has been outstanding. I think just like the right comments um, Southgate made on, on, on Bukayo Saka, that is, you know, a, a player, a young player who has flourished you know, in a struggling side. I think, you know, the credit, uh, the credit you give Sander Badge is the ability to flourish. The, is, 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 he's, he's flourished um, in that Sheffield United side that has been so struggling, that confirmed his relegation almost at the beginning of the season. He's been very, very outstanding. So, if Arsenal decide to go for Sander Badge, well, I wouldn't mind if we signed him. I wouldn't mind. Um, I don't think he's um, the high quality, I mean, high profile player many Arsenal fans want to see but if he comes to the club and delivers then we do not have any problems with him anyway um my health of, of course I, I need to go and um 
see a doctor i think at the moment but i'll speak to you very very soon as soon as i get any better